Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where today you'll learn about new marketing phrases that have been adopted by P&G, which are sure to catch on with corporate marketers everywhere. How a survey is supporting a Unilever lawsuit. A second RBDR look at the mobile app that's known as Jelly. And the latest honor bestowed on Diane Hessen. RBDR is sponsored by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services to help companies quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company. Procter & Gamble, the corporate powerhouse that brought marketers phrases like the first moment of truth. That's the moment when people supposedly decide if they're going to buy something they see in store. And second moment of truth, when people use a product, is adding to that phraseology mix. That, according to a story in Advertising Age. The publications dispatched late last week from an analyst conference spotlighted Chairman A.G. Lafley's dropping of four new phrases. The first, zero moment of truth, the moment when people, P&G says, research products online. Next, trade up, just what it sounds like, getting consumers to opt in categories where they already buy for premium priced products. Trade across, this refers to P&G marketing that induces consumers of one company brand to decide to buy another P&G brand. And trade in, a situation where consumers are lured to buy a P&G product for the very first time. Next, a survey conducted by a marketing professor has led Unilever, owner of Hellman's, that's America's best-selling mayonnaise, to sue Hampton Creek for labeling its egg-free product called Just Mayo. The federal court suit says the word mayo in the brand implies that the product is mayonnaise. It also claims Just Mayo in the suit has neither the taste or performance of mayonnaise. Supporting the lawsuit, the survey showed that more than half of 822 respondents actually thought that Just Mayo was mayonnaise because of what it said on the label. Moving on, Digital Director Matt Rhodes at the Insight and Innovation Consultancy known as Fresh Minds has blogged about whether Jelly, that's Twitter co-founder Bistone's new service, may become a viable market research tool for brands. Now, RBDR covered Jelly this past January the 9th, noting that mobile users can download the free Jelly app and present a question to their network of social media friends. In fact, we're linking to that old video so you can take a look at what we initially reported. Rhodes asked Jelly to ask its users now if and how it could be used for brand research. And the responses that came back included, how about trying it for product development and design? Consumer feedback on new products, using secret shoppers, and crowdsourcing opinion regarding brand imagery and new creative. Finally, Congratulations to Community Space founder and chairman Diane Hessen, who was inducted last week into the world's first Entrepreneur Hall of Fame. That's the Academy of Distinguished Entrepreneurs at Babson College in Wellesley, Massachusetts. That's Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services to help companies quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company. Would you like to know more about Nuance? Well, we've got a link to help you do that. It's in the email we sent out and in the description box underneath today's video. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.